off either you know go and work for somebody else go and work for an auction house or try and make a go of it myself so I started a couple of years before opening the shop sat in an antique center dealing antiques toys and whatever I could make a coin on basically so opened the shop in 1984 and I'm still here now I suppose you could say I specialise in the products of Bins Road, so that covers Dinky Toys, Hornby, Meccano, you know, and various other pieces that they made at the factory there. But I also specialise in Matchbox, Corgi, Lead Soldiers, um, mainly toys that were made after the war. I don't actually collect toys, for the simple reason that I'm around them every day. Uh, so I appreciate them, you know, I always find it a challenge and a quest to try and find the rarest pieces and I can then say, yeah, I've had that, then I can sell it. Um, I collect coins and that type of thing and my hobby is added archaeology for a few years and I do metal detecting and that type of thing, so I've got bits and bobs I've found that are in the British Museum. You never know what's going to come through the door. You know, you could be sat here twiddling your thumbs all day long, no one comes in, or you could be packed out with customers, or you could have some fascinating things brought through the door that people are bringing in for, for sale or bringing in for evaluation, you know, that type of thing. Not really, because I have a dealer streak straight through my veins, so with not collecting them, um, it makes it much more easy to, to pair with them. I think the thing is if you're a collector as well as a dealer then you could cream off the best things for yourself but what we try and do is sell the best things so the collector gets an opportunity to buy that item where you know it would normally be available for sale. quite a few of the swap meets within the north. Um, also we do sell on the internet through our website www.collectorsoftoyshop.com or we sell through our eBay site which is Collectors of the Toy Shop 1. Um, we tend though on the eBay side to sell things that we wouldn't be selling in the shop. So i.e. I deal also in coinage, military, anything really quirky, I'll normally sell through, say, eBay rather than through the shop. Recently, we've just bought some original old shop stock from somebody who used to work in a toy shop in the 1950s of Trix Twin Railways, of unused train sets, which have still got the factory shipping cartons and are basically a unique find. I mean, these sets were basically eight guineas a piece in the 50s, so they never turn up in this condition simply because the shops could not afford to keep them as old stock, you know, they'd be moved on. But these are in absolutely brand new condition. I would say collect what you like the look of. Do not go and say, if you say collecting dinky toys, don't say, oh, well, I need to collect every dinky. No, buy what you want. And if you see a corgi toy you like, buy that. You know, there's no set pattern. You should never be forced into buying something that is not that you're not 100% happy with. Just go with what you like. <laughs>